again. Um, so for this journal activity, I chose another interesting, kind of fun one, actually. Um, it was about self-acceptance. Um, and it talked about, well, self-acceptance and happiness. So a little bit about what the journal activity was um, and what self-acceptance and happiness is. We all know what happiness is, but so self-acceptance is that in life we compare we often compare ourselves to others. It always looks like they have a better life than us. Does that sound familiar? Um, we all have flaws and no one is perfect, but we judge ourselves the most. We're the most harsh with ourselves than anyone else. Do you agree? We need to allow ourselves to be happy and accept who we are in order to truly be happy. With that self-love journey, it leads to a term called self-compassion. Now, this is where I find it interesting, and it gets really interesting. Um, and I recommend you look up TED Talks uh, on self-compassion. It benefited, benefited me greatly, um, and it's interesting to learn about. Uh, Dr. Christian, Kristen Neff did a lot of research, does a lot of research on the subject. So I also recommend you check her out as well. Um, it's basically, so self-compassion is basically talking about yourself in the way you would talk about a friend. You wouldn't self-doubt and judge your friend, so why would you talk bad about yourself? It's, it's supposed to, self-compassion is a skill we all have, and it's the more self-compassion and so, self-love towards ourselves, the more we can show towards others as well. Does that make sense? So in this activity with my imaginary friend, this is also supposed to be another skill I can look back at and help and help me have more self-compassion. Um, so this fake friend is supposed to know who we are, like a best friend, um, like writing a forgiving letter towards ourselves, about ourselves. <laughs> for those who did it, what was it like for you? I want to know. Um, it For me, I know it was awkward, like writing a letter to myself, and I felt weird saying good things about myself. And then I read it back, and it made me feel good about myself. Uh, in the journal activity, it's like uh, they described it like a cold drink of water on a hot, like, summer day. It's kind of weird, but it's true. Um, so I learned how to change my weaknesses. I learned how to make room for growth in my life instead of hurting myself with words. Growing up with anxiety and depression, I'd always had trouble with self-compassion, so this activity was really beneficial for me. So I really look forward to hearing your feedback, um, and if you did this activity, what did you think? Bye!